are you praying? Yeah, I'm just sitting up now, love. Yeah. What do you mean she's not turned up? You... No, 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 you said, you, you said you'd keep an eye on her. I, I've, I've got to go, I've got to go. What now? It's Faye, she hasn't turned up for netball. Brian's only just found out. Well, she's probably down a chimney with her mates. Uh, yeah, well, no, it, but that's him. Hey, what if she's run off to meet him? Or, what worse, what if he snatched her? Yeah. It's her. <sighs> Don't pick me up. I've gone to see me dad. I'll be back for my tea. I'm going to knock his block off. Oh, yeah, but that'd be great because there'd be even more of a hero then, won't it? <sighs> what am I going to do with her? Could she doesn't this? like being out in the dark. He won't know that about her, a real dad. Look, he's playing right into our hands. The social services are about to do a risk assessment of him and he's sneaking off with a ten-year-old girl right behind her mother's back. So what do we do meanwhile, sit here like lemons? You know, they could be halfway to France by now. It's her. Uh... Faye, what the...? Uh, Tim, uh, yeah, where are you? No, she promised me she was going to netball. Oh. All right. Well, that's very good of you. How long? Right. Half an hour, then. He's bringing her back. What? And that's good of him? Well, I want to make sure he does, and if that means keeping on the right side, then... You said half an hour. That was an hour ago. Don't say they might have got lost. I know. I should have got his address. I should have said we'd pick her up. Ring Joanne. No, hang on. When it's stuff the social services, we should be ringing the police. No. There you are. I've been out of my mind. This is the Tim Metcalf. Where have you been? I said he'd worry. Worry? You know there's a name for blokes like you. Yeah, Dad. So I can't do it. <clears throat> Don't get comfy, lad. You can understand why we're all so worried. We've all heard the horror stories about kids being targeted on the internet. She found me. Well, she shouldn't have been looking. No, it's human nature. I'm glad she did. I tried to find her for years, but it's hard when you don't even have a surname to go on. They do that for a reason. Look, I didn't leave a mum of my own accord. It's... It's hard living with a smack I was driven out and I've regretted it ever since. My mother never forgave me. Grandma Tess. I was the first grandchild. She died of a broken heart. And she left me this. It's a Metcalf family heirloom. You don't let the grass grow. I messed up and I'm the first to admit that. Sometimes I wish I'd never even hooked up with Jenny in the first place, but if I hadn't done, then Faye would never have existed. I was immature. I should have just taken her with me and left Janet to fester, but it, it didn't seem right a bloke on his own bringing up a girl. I'm a different person now. I drifted, I admit. I don't look much on paper, but I've got my act together. I've got a little flat, regular work. You know, when she got in touch online when I saw a picture for the first time, it stirred things up about her and my mum. Made me want to put things right. You've got two daughters, Face told me. You must know how hard it is to stay away. Talk to the wrong bloke, mate. You know, when she was going to sleep, she had two dummies. One for sucking and the other for stroking her nose. That's why it turns up at the end, look. And she was crazy for Edie McCready. From Balamore. I'm sorry if I had a dogs. If she saw one in the park, she'd cling on at me so hard I could feel her heart beating against my chest. It's a long time ago now. I'm not trying to take her away from you. Good for you. I just want to fill in the blanks. Uh, no, no, do you know what? This has gone far enough. Up to your room. Mom, some things are not appropriate for you to hear. Your mum's right. Go on, up you go. Don't leave that saying goodnight. I won't, I promise. Faye was put up for adoption for a reason. As far as I'm concerned, nothing's changed. Well, you're young, you can have other children. You can give them all the love you say you feel for Faye, but I'm a mother. Well, think about it, I've been reasonable. No, you should think about it. Social services are planning to assess you. You, know, you can wave bye-bye to all your privacy ones, them lot get the claws into you. Faye said that you're a nice guy. Is there anything else you've not told her? Convictions, admissions, addictions. It'll come out, you know. Fine. Do you know what? I shouldn't have let you in here tonight. It won't be happening again. Well, at least let me say goodbye. <laughs> You'll regret this. Is that a threat? No, it's a fact. She'll never forgive you. Yeah. 
Well, you know what? That's something else that I'll have to live with, isn't it? Like all the other heirlooms that you and your Jenny have left behind. Dad! Dad! You never said goodnight. I know. I know. And then I... See, my girlfriend likes to give everyone the benefit of the doubt, but me, I'm more of a more of a gut instinct kind of fella. So, if you go within a mile of Faye ever again, you will end up dancing in concrete boots. You got that? Yeah, 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 I got that, I got that. What next? You're going to be beating it into Faye as well? She came looking for me, remember? She won't come out of her room. What's she get hungry, love? She's lost her voice from yelling at me. She wants to change her name to Metcalf. Well, it was never Metcalf in the first place. That druggy Jenny's name was Butler. Don't you go doubting yourself, love. I can't win. I ban her from seeing him and she hates me. Let the relationship grow, let him start to meet up and... She loves him more. Who am I trying to protect, eh? Her or me? 